All right, welcome to another edition of Whiskey Wednesday. It must be Wednesday, why? Because I'm drinking whiskey on a weekday, which is not uncommon. I do it once a week. Anyway, my name is Rob Tate with Downey Street Group here at Ingle and Volkers. Welcome, we are reviewing Old Elk. This is a newer um, bourbon whiskey here. Uh, it is actually from one of my favorite places, Fort Collins, Colorado. And for those of you who don't know, fun Fort Collins fact, Fort Collins downtown, or what they refer to as Old Town, an area I used to live, I actually launched a real estate brokerage up there a while ago, was actually modeled, Disneyland modeled itself after Old Town Fort Collins. Because, as the townies like to say, it's the happiest place on earth. So anyway, check out Fort Collins, great place to live. But let's get back to more, what's important about this is bourbon. So Old Elk here, it was started in 2016. Um, it was started by the same guys who brought to you Otterbox. So if you enjoy your phone not absolutely crushing itself because you're, you're really clumsy and stuff, or you drink too much whiskey and it falls down, uh, Otterbox will help you out and so will the founder of this company, Old Elk. Uh, they're right now actually distilling out of three different locations and that's why it says blended on the bottle but it's not your typical blended. It is a straight um, whiskey, but in order for them to be just compliant with their own you know, integrity, is they call it blended until they're able to bring all the distillery to Colorado and only be in Fort Collins. Uh, they really wanted to make what they call the smooth bourbon. And for those of you who aren't really into bourbon, it kind of has that bite. You know, I taught you on another video how to chew the bourbon. Uh, but it still can have a bite in. So the, the founders of Old Elk here really wanted to create a smooth bourbon that was important to them. So they increased the number of malt they, they did or they used. Uh, they also do what's called a slow process where most of the time they add water into like a 24 hour or 48 hour period. These guys do it over like weeks, adding in water to, to really smooth out the bourbon. And finally, the proof is in its high. Kind of when the proof isn't as high, that helps. The, it has a little bit lower alcohol by volume. This one's actually 109 proof, but a lot of their stuff is only 88 proof. And so this is actually kind of probably a great beginner's whiskey. You know, if you have that uh, guy or girl in your life that doesn't yet like whiskey, isn't into it, they're like, ah, oh, it hurts too much. This is a great one to kind of try. So wonderful. It's also from my home state, Colorado. Gotta love Colorado. Old Elk, pick it up, it's in a gorgeous bottle. Your friends will ask, how much is it? Um, also, we have a little contest that so you see I'm drinking out of these cool little whiskey uh, cups. They're actually kind of for coffee, they're insulated. Um, and so we are saying anybody who has subscribed to us or subscribed to us recently, we will be giving away one of these cups. So you too could enjoy one of my two favorite beverages out of this cup, either whiskey or coffee. Pretty much primarily my diet. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching Whiskey Wednesdays. Subscribe, check us out, comment, let me know what you want. Uh, also, if you want me to do a Whiskey Wednesday where you're at, just let me know. I'd be happy to travel to you. Thanks so much guys, check out Old Elk, subscribe, get a cup, it'll be great.